Introduction Hello children, you may have found that on folding or cutting some objects like blackboard, chalk, paper along a particular line, we get two identical halves. These objects are called symmetrical and the line along which the object is folded is called the line of symmetry. Today let us learn more about symmetry. Objectives At the end of this lesson you will be able to define symmetrical objects, define line of symmetry, find the number of lines of symmetry in different figures, explain the mirror line as the line of symmetry, recall the applications of symmetry in daily life. Children, look at the rug. When you fold it, the left and right halves match each other. Thus, the rug is said to be symmetrical. Look at this leaf. On folding the leaf, its two halves match each other, thus it is symmetrical. Look at the touch-me-not plant's leaves. When you touch, it is folded in halves. Can you see the two halves matching each other? This particular line created by folding of the leaves is called the line of symmetry. This bug also has a line of symmetry along which it folds into two identical halves. Take a piece of cloth. Fold it into halves. Now cut two small circles from the middle of this piece. Now after unfolding you can see a symmetric pattern that has a line of symmetry along which it can be cut to two identical parts. Manu and Mrinal have one rectangular cake. Each of them want exact half of it. The cake can be divided in two ways to give equal halves. Do you want to know how? Let us find out. The cake can be divided along the horizontal line so that its two halves match each other. It can also be divided along the vertical line. So the cake has two lines of symmetry along which it can be divided to give two identical halves. Thus we can say that a rectangle has two lines of symmetry. Collect the objects from the table and keep them into the group. Archie has two lunch boxes. One has three lines of symmetry. She doesn't like this box and keeps it away. She picks up another one. Let us check out. Oh. This box has four lines of symmetry. Children, look at this beautiful star. As you can see, this star has five lines of symmetry. What about this pattern? How many lines of symmetry does it have? It has six lines of symmetry. Rectangles have two lines of symmetry, but a square has four. A circle has infinite lines of symmetry. Students, you must have noticed that when you see yourself in front of a mirror, you and your image are identical. The image is the reflection of the object in the same line. Notice that there is no change in the lengths and angles. However, in the image, the left portion of the object becomes right, whereas the right part of the object turns left part in the image. Sham, a milkman, wants to park his van at some point on street and distribute milk to houses A and B. Can you suggest him where should he park his van so that his walking distance from the street to the houses A and B will be least? Let us find out. We can use reflectional symmetry here. Let A be the image of A in the mirror line which is the street here. Now join the points A and B. You can see that at point P, the mirror line and AB meet. Thus, point P is the ideal place for Sham to park his van. Children, you will wonder that symmetry is part of our everyday life as it is applicable in art, architecture, textile technology, patterns in clothing, Rangoli, etc. Many road signs you see are symmetric. Look at this leaf. 
it is symmetrical. Thus, even the nature has plenty of symmetrical things. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. The figures with evenly balanced proportions are called symmetrical. The line along which a figure can be folded so that the two halves match each other is called the line of symmetry. A symmetrical figure may have only one, two or multiple lines of symmetry. The object and its mirror image are symmetrical with reference to the mirror line. Symmetry is found in plenty of everyday life objects as in art, architecture, textile technology, design creations, etc.